As a designer, you do have to constantly think about situations that exist outside of your own reality. And the way that you do that is by actively listening to new perspectives, new ideas from people that you wouldn't typically engage with. My name is Leila Jad, and I am studying a double degree in media and design, and I'm in my honors year. The transition from uni to working from home has been pretty difficult, I have to say. Um, it's been really hard to like readjust my expectations of what my year was going to be and what it has become and how that's changed the way that I've thought about making and designing things. I chose design because I found I love creating things and it was a good mix of art and creative thinking and creating things for people in need. My honours project has changed quite drastically from the beginning of the year to where I am now. Uh, at the start of the year, uh, I was kind of focused on making an interactive artwork that used creative coding and installation work to kind of be more inviting to people that don't typically interact with art. It's moved really dramatically into this new space where I'm kind of building a public outreach program that um, engages with the same type of audiences, but in a very non-digital way, like a very hands-on way. Good design is design that is as accessible to as many people as possible. And in my work, I have the privilege of engaging with people that have experiences of the world that are so drastically different to mine that I get a lot from them and it really helps inform my own design processes. Accessibility is more than just physical access things like building ramps and whatnot. It's about making people feel included and welcome in spaces. And so I've really tried to be considerate in my own work to be empathetic to their needs and making things as open and inclusive for everyone to be able to use. COVID has really highlighted a lot of accessibility issues or things that used to be really hard to do that are now suddenly really easy. Like, for example, like working from home was this thing that was really impossible to do before and now everyone is doing it. And making things available online, I, I think we were underestimating what the internet could do to connect people. Working from home has had its benefits. Because I live far away from uni, it's made it like I have a lot more time in my day to do things and uh, study and wake up at times that are a bit more healthier for me. Um, but at the same time, it's been really challenging because I can't access the same resources that I could at, at uni. Socially distancing and social isolation and COVID has really taught me to be a lot more flexible with my expectations of things and to learn how to adapt previous ideas into new environments. There will always be the threat of another pandemic. It's not a question of if, but more when, I guess. To prepare for the next one, I think we have to be a lot more empathetic to people in need and help the most vulnerable people in our societies. Because if you don't protect those people, we're all going to suffer, I guess. So yeah. <laughs>